Hello, welcome. My name is Manuel from Kata Studios. The last time we learned how to make a transition effect in Elementor Page Builder, as you can see from here and here. So this image effect, text effect, and all of them, we learned that from last time. But today we are going to learn a totally different tool. So we're going to learn what we call the preloader. The preloader is an effect that happens immediately the website is loaded or pre or before the website is loaded. So let's see an example of what that feels like. So we're going to refresh this page and you're going to notice what's happening. So you see, it slides up immediately. Let's do that once more. With the logo of the, of the brand and the color of the brand, then it slides up. The essence of a preloader is not just for style or for concept. The essence for preloader is if you have a hero section that have too many images that take a little more time to load. So to avoid stuff like this, let me show you an example of what I mean. That's what we call the paint uh, load period. So that's the period it will load the scale of the website. You see the white background and all of that. So to avoid all of that, you need to add a preloader so that you won't that particular part won't be visible during the loading time so that experience will look more smooth and more uh, dedicated to the concept of the brand. So today we are going to learn how to do that and we are going to learn that with a tool called the Luft Loader. So Luft Loader was introduced to me by Dean. That was last year, one of my students. I, I just saw that from one of his websites and I was very impressed. If you see any other tool that does this better, please let me know in the comment section below and I will have to... Uh, make our time and talk about that. But for now, let's add this tool. So to add a preloader tool, click on the plugin from your WordPress dashboard. Click on add new plugin. Okay. Then from here, I just type the Luft loader. Just Luft loader, I think. One word. Okay, that's L-O-F-T-L-O-A-D-E-R. Okay, so this is the one we are going to use right here. So click on install and we activate just wait a little then click on activate so once it's activated we're going to get into the plugin area click on the settings then do a little more settings from there so this is the loft loader from the if you can't find it just click on the plugin area from here okay the plugin area from here then you'll be loaded to this particular page click on settings that will be loaded to the Lofty Loader setting area. So first off, we are going to meet with the uh, display settings. So the display settings is how this is going to look like when it's loaded. So where is it going to appear? Do you want it to appear in every page everybody open? You use this particular dot. You want it to appear on, on only the home page? You select on the home page only. Me, I like it to appear in the home page only because that's the first page people land in, and that's the best experience I want them to have. So the background. What color would you want for the background? Possibly you want to copy the background color you use for your design already. So we want to copy this color code. Or if you already know the color you are using, you just go and pick that color. So we copy this color code from over here. We copy and we get back there and we paste the color code. So to avoid scrambling through colors. Okay, we have the color from there. You could also play around with the colors, you know, something like this. But since we get the color we are looking at, like this, and I think we are good to go. This is the opacity. You want it to be dark or you want it to be lighter. If you want it to show part of the website while it's loading, that's your business. But I like mine to be 100% uh, uh, without any opacity because I wouldn't like people to see the background, what's happening or what's loading from the background. Okay, so this is the transition effect you would like. Would you like it to be fading out or would you like it to slide right? You see the slide right, how it feels like. Let's see. Slide up how it feels like. Okay, just watch. You see, so that's the slide up. And this is the slide down. That's not it. That's not it. Fine, this is, the, this is the slide up and down. You see, it opens like a door. So I would prefer sliding up, that's my most preferred, or you can use fade, it can just fade out. But if you use slide up, and when you hover on it, hover on it again, it will uh, actually appear. I think there's a bug that makes it not to transition, do the transition for the first time. So make sure your color is accurate. Okay, that's the most important thing. I would like to add my accurate color so that whenever I transition it, you see the main color appears and it blends in with other color. So once you are done, we can go back and continue with the rest of the settings. So what is the loader type you want to use? Would you like to use an icon loader type which is currently existing here? If you want to use that and you still want to change the color, you can just play around with the color of the icon from here and it's going to change the color of the icon. 
when the wire does not change at all. Okay, it's changed now. So just give it a little time, it's gonna load. Then if you want it to just these three dots, you select on these three dots and just allow it a little time to load. You get the point. So for now we are using image. You can see all that transition from here. You can see this ripple effect, but we want to use image effect for now. So what this image effect does, it, it allows us to add our profile, our logo actually, the website logo to the brand. Okay, so we add our website logo from there. So to do that, click on change image. And here we're going to select on our profile, uh, our icon. This is the favicon icon. I have taught us in the last one of our tutorial on how to uh, create the favicon icon. The favicon icon is like the one you see at the top side of the website. All these icons from here are the fav favicon icon. As you can see from here, the favicon icon is what we actually used to load this website okay so you see it is the favicon icon performing right there so favicon icon is created i have a tutorial on that possibly i will link that tutorial in the description below so you can go check it out watch how to create a favicon icon so you can use it for your lofty loader so once you're done with that click on choose image and allow it to load so this image width is where you select the size of the image you want for this particular uh, loading icon so for me, I would prefer to use a 100 pixel image. You see how that we, is going to rise. Uh, I think that is fairly better. Very good. So this is the size we're going to get. And we are done with that. We go back. We can click on more and see maximum load time. We can leave this as zero. Close button. We can allow this. Possibly we put the close button at 10 seconds. What this means is if, if the load actually performs its function and the whole website didn't load within 10 seconds there should be an x button at the top right where users can close that down and then visit the main website while the other part of the website is loading okay the plugin data here is if you want to uninstall the plugin and remove all the information from here enable this one from here but i don't think that's necessary i think that's basically all i think that's basically all i think that's okay so this is everything we need. And what we need to do next is click on publish. Okay. Once we hit on publish, we get back to our website. Now we reload the home page. We're going to see the transition effects taking place. Perfectly fine. So now we get to the next. If we go to another uh, page, possibly the personal therapist booking page, it's going to load straight without that effect. But whenever we get to the home page, automatically it's going to have that effect effects okay so like i said before if you have any other uh plugin that does this way better any other no code so that does it way better please do let us know okay do let me know in the comment section below and i'll be very excited to talk about that particular tool once again my name is manuel from Qatar studios give this video a thumbs up share to friends who may need it and also make sure to subscribe if you have not do have a wonderful day